Hey everybody. So I get a lot of people who over the years have inquired, well, how can you expect to find your property if you're living in it, if it's your primary home, but you want a house hack like we do, where I short-term rent my own home. At this point, we've got 27,000 in profit on the calendar for this year, 2021. It's still just the very beginning of February at the moment. It pays very well, but is it worth it? That's what I want to find out today. Guests just left an hour ago. So I'm just now getting up to the house to check things out. We're gonna do a walkthrough together here, and see if they followed our instructions. Now, the primary takeaway from this video is that you should have a process, a welcome email slash text, we do both, that goes out as people come in knowing what to expect. So you give them all the check-in rules, you give them uh, town amenities, you basically provide them checkout procedures, you give them everything they would need to know in order to have the best stay they can and to follow your rules. One of the rules that I have is a, a fairly strict cleanup process for, for checkout. So when we come in here, we just try to do a quick assessment as to how it appears they followed those procedures. Now I'm gonna leave a uh, access to that welcome template that I use in the description below. So be sure to check that out. It's just a complimentary gift. I work on it all the time. I'm literally modifying, adding to it, making changes, taking things away. But so far it looks like the property was left very clean, which is what we expect. I always try and take a glimpse out back to see if there's any personal property that might've been left behind. Toys, a lot of our guests drive in. This guest drove up from Texas and we're in Colorado. We have a lot of Texans coming in. I mean, this place looks great, unscathed. It looks like the cleaner just left. Kitchen looks really, really clean. This is mine. They cleaned up the fireplace. And I know they had fires. Yes! Look what I have created! I have made fire! Our goal is to pull about $60,000 this year on this property. It literally costs half of that. $2,500 a month, $30,000 a year for principal interest, taxes, and insurance. So we'll make 30 grand in cash flow, less the uh, you know, investment aspect of it, including, you know, various products that we end up inventorying. So paper towels, toilet paper, lotions, body washes, soaps, shampoos, conditioners, etc. cetera. Um, we also do provide access to this spice cabinet, which I always ask is put back, which as you can see, it's a sight for sore eyes, folks. When your guests take care of your stuff, which this has happened 95% of my time, it makes life so much easier. I'll generally take an inventory of how much coffee they drank just so that I can see whether or not, uh, you know, they're appreciating it, number one. And number two, kind of what our margins are left with. Now this property rents for anywhere between 375 up to $1,000 per night. This guest paid us $2,150 in profit. Cleaner will be here in just a few minutes actually doing the deep clean. So all I want her to do and what my welcome email includes is I want her to deep clean and sterilize. I do not want her to be picking up after people. So my request is that things are replaced where they were found. And this looks fabulous. You know, look, if you're gonna move furniture around, that's fine. Look at all this floor right space. So we much, do robots in here. So many activities. If you're gonna move some of this stuff around, that's fine. But put it back after you do. You can see that our landlord closets make this very easy to move in and out of. Another quick tip for you guys is if you do wanna rent your own property and house hack the way we are, these little adhesive locks have worked really well. And then we just simply tuck the keys away in a locked safe inside of our landlord closet back here. So almost all the closets that have handles outside of these spare bedroom slide closets, we lock as landlord. Then we don't have to move everything out. It makes it really, really easy. So everything looks fantastic. Check the laundry real quick. Looks like they've separated it into piles. We've got sheets and towels. I'll skip in you one towel. One towels need sleepy. We did take the robes away. We really overused water last year, so that was a big surprise. Looks like our back room was left in great condition. I do. I just started doing this with this visitor, which is uh, leave the dry erase board out that I use for work because I knew they had kids, and looks like the kids enjoyed it. And let's check the game room. They locked all the doors. This guys did a great job. So again, I'll leave my welcome email, check in, check out rules in the description for you guys. I think it would be really helpful. I wish somebody would have provided me that.
but boy, did they do a nice job of respecting the property. I know they used this, so as you can see, we've got some firewood uh, mess, which is expected. This is everybody's favorite room. And it looks like they took great care of the old outhouse, guys. Look at this <laughs> trough, trough bathtub. This little handmade handle. Look at this, it says lock. Isn't that neat? So this is our quick guest review. I would say five out of five stars. They were fantastic. I'd have them back in a heartbeat. Now we're gonna get the locks off of this stuff. We're in here for the next three weeks until we leave on a six week RV trip where we'll pull, boy, $9,000 before we pay our cleaner. Uh, by the way, the hot tub, the guests also pay to have professionally cleaned. So that gets professionally cleaned six times a month. What guard on duty, sir? If you don't mind, I have to watch the water. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you enjoyed walking through the property with me. Make sure you subscribe. Leave your comments, and we'll see you on the next video. Until then, make it a great day and keep on cash flowing.